for this video we have uh, uh, ahmed shabir uh, as our guest and uh, he is from sept and he will be, he will be talking about everything that is related to sept whether it's about placement whether it's about college culture everything will be discussed in this and uh, whatever the procedure is involved in entrance and uh, after getting in college he will be explaining everything and giving an insight uh, for sept and uh, like especially the department of architecture we will be talking about architecture so uh, ahmed up to you so the first question from you will be tell about yourself uh, and a little bit introduction about yourself oh, okay hey everyone my name is ahmed shabir i am from cochin i am currently a fourth year student of uh, sept university architecture department um i got into architecture actually none of my fa- like none of my family members are uh, from architectural background but um obviously like you have this like likeness for drawing and like craft making so I was into craft making a lot around 8th grade and te- towards 10th grade and in 12th grade uh, and in 11th and 12th I took on the subject called engineering graphics uh, where we had like basics of drafting and like model making so after that I thought that uh, architecture is something that involves all of this and I took it on forward so uh, next question is your experience in sept so sept kaisa tha when you appeared or uh, कॉलेज में जाने के बाद कैसा था एंड कैसा लगा सेप्ट में तो एवरीथिंग रिलेटेड टू सेप्ट सेप्ट का एक्सपीरियंस कैसा रहा अभी तक या सो व्हेन आई फर्स्ट जॉइंड सेप्ट आई थिंक द फर्स्ट थिंग आई नोटिस ऑन कैंपस वाज वी डोंट हैव एनी क्लासरूम वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ स्पेसेस टू स्टडी एंड वेयर स्पेसेस वेयर स्टूडियो स्टूडियोस हैपन बट वी डोंट हैव अ लॉट ऑफ क्लासरूम्स ओनली लाइक क्लासरूम्स दैट वी हैव अ लाइक द लेक्चर हॉल्स फॉर द यू नो द सब्जेक्ट लेक्चर but then that most of the studio spaces aren't really rooms they're just like spaces and i think that's the first thing that struck me and especially about the campus uh, like there are a lot of open spaces and like a lot of trees are interspersed and right now we have many new buildings coming up as well especially for the foundation here which is the first year i talk about uh, up ahead and um, yeah i think that was my first impression and onwards in step i think it's it's developed through as a very nice experience as of now until now overall experience i think bahut acha raha tumhara accept ka so uh, next is uh, how is the procedure to get into sep to so, sep mein like what i know is that it's affiliated to nata so abhi kya changes hue hain being online and 2020 uh, के बाद लाइक बिकॉज ऑफ पैंडमिक आई थिंक बहुत सारी चीजें चेंजेस आ रहे हैं इन एंट्रेंस वेदर इट्स नॉट और वेदर इट्स एनी थिंग सो सेप का एंट्रेंस का जो इंटेक है वो कैसे होता है एंड नंबर ऑफ सीट्स क्या है उसमें सो एवरी थिंग रिलेटेड टू एंट्रेंस और कट ऑफ कितना ज्यादा है लाइक नाटा की जो रफ रैंकिंग हो सकती है या रफ स्कोर कार्ड जो यू कैन टेल स्टूडेंट्स की हाँ अगर इस लेवल में आता है सो यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर सेप्ट सो वट आर यो इन सेप्ट इट्स लोकेट इन अहमदाबाद गुजरात सो देर इज अ कोटा फॉर फिफ्टी परसेंट सीट्स फॉर द गुजरात स्टेट स्टूडेंट्स एंड देन देर इज फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑल इंडिया स्टेट स्टूडेंट्स सो आई थिंक इफ द नंबर ऑफ सीट्स पर बैच दे आर चेंजिंग बिट राइट नाउ इट्स अराउंड एटी पर बैच and we have like 40 seats for all india students and 40 seats for gujarat kids and in the gujarat uh, quota you have uh, like you know the regular reservation but in all india it's it's uh, completely merit based in terms of the exams to give i think for they'll set prepares their own merit list uh, based on not a 50% marks and uh, 50% of your 12 board examination marks so i think you submit these two marks to them and then they will prepare their own merit list and they'll uh, put it out in terms of in uh, cut off i can't really say because right recently there are a lot of changes in nata and because of these changes um people have been scoring higher or like there there is there are a lot more students scoring higher which is which is really good but then also you can't really put a cap on it ki, because every year the bar is being set differently so yeah i just i think you just have to be like at the top and you will have to see depending on the overall uh, students who are given the exam that year so next question from you is that what are the perks of doing architecture from sep so sep a uh, bahut recognized college hai in architecture and uh, uh, like pros kya hote hain aise recognized college mein padhne mein and uh, uh, perks kya hote hain aise college like being in sep the perks or pros kya hai uh, can you discuss about that oh yeah sure so i think No, for, we'll I'll start from first year onwards. So when we when we when you take admission in SEP uh, for an undergraduate program, you're part of a foundation year for the first year. So in this foundation year, I think uh, the the major perk is that you're in the same studio, you're doing the same course as a foundation with like bachelors of urban design student, bachelors of design students, interior design and construction technology students. So 
the moment you join into step you start building your your contacts you start building connection you start understanding how diff- different departments different courses work so like akrik isn't like one entity that you build or you design in a specific realm it really spreads out to many other fields as well so i think from first year onwards you have this exposure to all these different departments and uh, i think uh, the course is also structured so that there is a lot of um, intermingling between departments as well Uh, whether you, whether it be like the elective courses that you can take uh, after your first year, like in your second and third year, you would have students from other batches. You would have students from other departments, even from the masters courses. So you meet a lot of new people, and I think because of the structuring of the program, it it helps to do that. In terms of uh, benefits, uh, other than that, I think since it's already very well reputed. Um, they're trying to like gain international reputation also uh, like build up the qs rankings and all which is like a, the international ranking scale I, uh, like currently i don't know what is the status but they've been trying to do that um, slowly so this helps when you're applying for masters when you have when your college has a good qs ranking or something like that um, it adds on to your portfolio so ahmed uh, like uh, do you have any exchange program as per uh, of the college so say does accept foreign exchange program as well so do you get this this opportunity yeah actually so in the department of architecture we have around currently we are associated with around uh, 12 to 15 colleges in uh, around like europe and we have some in uh, new zealand and all so there are around 25 exchange seats so from uh, every batch around 25 students get to go for an exchange program for one semester Uh, it's obviously depends on your uh, merit uh, merit list after your uh, third year so they prepare a merit list after third year and depending on that you can you can choose which university you would want to go for an exchange program and we also have many students coming in to the college from abroad like we had students from germany switzerland coming into uh, chef like for a semester and you get to interact with them so it's like you get a new perspective of what uh, how architecture is taught over there how the profession is over there you really get to mingle with a lot of these people So this is actually a great perk for being uh, studying in SEPT. I think uh, Ahmed, what is the fee structure of SEPT? If SEPT me, uh, koi uh, admission le raha hai, so what's the fees that he have to, he or she have to pay, and uh, uh, what are the facilities that you will be getting? So currently at SEPT, um, the fee structure they've been changing things up a bit. So abhi uh, fee structure hai one point six lakh per semester. Uh, or uske saath like you get a lot of benefits on campus as well like you have the whole library or ek badhiya uh, workshop bhi hai jisme bahut sare facilities bhi hai like you get a wood working workshop clay work or you get a model making workshop or uh, fab lab bhi hai you can like 3d printers laser cutters everything you have on campus itself so please yeah i think it is quite justified in some sense i mean it is a quite high compared to other colleges but it is a private college at the end of the day so step just uh, charge more uh, like 1.6 lakhs per semester as of now yeah like uh, i think that if uh, sept is providing these much facilities with 3d printing and all uh, a lot of other things so it's quite justified <laughs> because uh, a lot of facilities are not available in most of the colleges and uh, the next question about sept is that what is the placement cell uh, so like does uh, you guys have any placement cell and what are the packages that student get uh, after graduating from sept so currently in architecture i don't think we have a placement cell but we do have a student service office so in case you need any help they are there to help you in case you want to get a specific letter or if you want to get in touch with some officers if you need some specific some specific help they can uh, get it done for you otherwise i think the um, there are a lot of the faculties who meet at sep and who are associated with sep they have a large reach so if there is any specific place that you want to go to when you have uh, you have graduated from sep university i think uh, you will you, you can you can talk to a few people and you know um, get to know where to apply and you and obviously there are many seniors you can talk to as well the alumni is like they're very well connected with the current students as well they hold many events and they come and attend and it's like once you're a part of the sept fraternity you don't really forget i think that's a, that's the case with many colleges but it's very strong in sept as well yeah alumni connection does make an impact for every college i think uh-huh. ahmed uh, can you share your uh, portfolio with us to understand what uh, as a student sept uh, you know, people can learn so can you share your portfolio i'll share the portfolio which i made after my fifth semester This is the portfolio that I made after my fifth semester before going before applying for my internship. Um, 
we will be go for internship in our we can go for internship in any of our um, seventh to the tenth semester uh, so this i decided to go after my sixth semester so is it like you so can uh, go at any time yeah we can choose any semester we want to because after the current the covid situation many batches were affected that they didn't want to do an online internship so they made it open that you could go in any of your uh, last four semesters you can even do it in your final if you want but currently there are talks going on uh, so this is the project which i did in my uh, fifth semester so there since this is a portfolio i've not put all the work i've done in the semester it's just the the final product and some of the process so i'll run you through uh it was to design it was actually a working drawing uh, semester and uh, generally in working drawing studios you just uh, make working drawings but this is uh, we focused on the designing and developing of the details based on the whole project as a whole um so we started at concept level where we had to develop different ideas and iterations and we had discussions with the structural engineer and possibilities like trying to push the boundaries but also stay within like you know a good response to the context um we had a strong concept development phase which moved on to like the working drawing phase uh we made details of staircases and um, doors windows bathrooms uh, we covered all of that the whole set uh we also made like physical models of different scales um then we like as a, as a studio as a whole so the thing in concept is the studio format uh, you do Uh, around a studio with around 11 to 12 students 11 to 15 students in one studio under one faculty so we have a we have a strong student to faculty ratio which keeps the studio going very enthusiastically people don't like lose touch of you know what other people's work and i think that's very important in separately is that you 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 not only focus on your work but you learn from others work as well uh this was a project which i did in my fourth semester which was a farm to table intervention so the yeah, it is based in the old city of amdavad and uh, just like any other old city in in india you have um, a rich diversity of cultures and all of these other aspects so we are looking at the overall fabric of not just buildings but of people and all everything that comes with people and uh, we made different models uh, developing ideas uh, as a response so the primary uh, thing that was looked at was what kind of response do you want to give to this place and obviously you, you uh, at this stage you were just looking at what all can we look at the different factors and then we developed uh, like around 12 to 15 different design options and then we had like a jury we shortlisted them so for these juries a fun thing is that they don't only call like very experienced faculties but they also call like senior students who have already done the studio they have, they call intermediate they call people from outside the field so you get an input from not only like faculties who practice or teach but you also get an input from all the levels from different lenses so that's really interesting uh we developed the final design it was a farm to table intervention so how would different people eat how would different people see how food is so when you're in urban context you don't really see how food is grown and you don't know where food is coming from just at your table so this is an intervention that really brings the food right in front of your eyes and you can see how it's grown and you get closer to food at the end of the day uh various drawings which we made another project this was the semester 3 project where we had to look at uh, different landscapes three different landscapes in one semester with one program so one was a uh, uh, ravine uh, uh, like a rocky hillside one was a wet wet, wet uh, flatland and one was a forest area so for three of the different sides we looked at the different response to each of the types of uh, existing uh, landscapes and we had to develop three different designs make models and the same routine along with a strong conceptual development as well as a, a critical discourse based on what the response is so this was a competition that i had done after my um, fourth semester um it was a, a cyclone resistant house uh, homestead uh, for uh, the for, for a family in the sundarbans but a non academic um, but we are in, like, we can we are really in, uh, encouraged to take on different challenges so just like you know brainstorm and go through all of these processes again uh, different drawings which we made the site level the details and the design itself um, then I'll then I'll, I'll show you some of the documentation work which we've done on campus so this was the house which I documented for the working drawing semester the one the project which I showed you first um so yeah all of this work is just like i've only put snippets of it trying to keep it concise 
but uh, yeah, like we have done a lot more work to get to this uh, uh, stage. This is another documentation project which I had done with a group for a course. Um, I think this is some of the work which we did in our first year uh, in our foundation program. We have a lot of model making. Uh, we also have a lot of graphic related work. We, we build up like a good skill set before we go into our own department. Um, in terms of models or in terms of whatever, this was the largest scale model which we did uh, one of the projects program studios. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Ahmed, it was a, a really good portfolio with a mix of a lot of physical model as well a lot of graphic skill and uh, software skill and I think like it's a total blend of everything. Sare years ka you have given portion to it ki first year, second year and third year. So yeah, I really liked your portfolio and uh, thank you for being part of this uh, podcast and thank you for joining me and uh, thank you for all the viewers who are watching.